How do you perfect your deadlift? Well, it's just like how you perfect that booty. Or just play hockey for years, so that'll happen. Okay, perfecting your deadlift. Now, this is a hip hinge motion. So here, pretend this is a wall. What I want you to do first is find your position where your butt can't hinge anymore. So essentially, if I can push back, and here, that's my end range right here. This is how I'm gonna line up. So this is where I'm stopping. Just because you can get lower by dropping your hips doesn't mean that's maximal muscular recruitment from your hips. So if this was a wall, that's my end point here. So if you've got dumbbells, they're great. You increase that range of motion. You can use a barbell, hex bar, anything. So here, we're gonna come down, soft bend through the knees, abs tight. I'm going to drive up, squeeze through the glutes. I like tucking my chin, push the hips back. Once I touch, this is my end range here. Squeeze up, control down, pause at the bottom. So we have that lengthening here. We've got that contraction as we're coming up. Think about coming up, kind of ripping through the top. Squeeze glutes there. Push those hips back every single time. Make sure you think about bracing through your abs. Naturally, that's gonna happen as the weight is coming in front of you, not touching the shins or pushing the hips back. So this is more of that RDL motion as opposed to a stiff leg deadlift, which will be less bend, more hamstring, specifically posterior fibers of the adductor muscles. And that, ooh, how to perfect your deadlift.